today we will see some examples of fractions write the fraction representing the shaded portion in each figure in this example fractions are represented as shaded parts let's identify them you already know that fraction is a number representing part of a whole therefore the fraction of shaded part is number of shaded parts by the total number of parts in the first picture number of shaded parts are 6 and the total number of parts is 8 therefore the fraction for shaded parts is expressed as 6 by 8 in the second picture number of shaded parts is 11 and the total number of parts is 15 therefore the fraction is 11 by 15 in the third picture there is a collection of 9 objects out of them 5 objects are shaded can you tell which portion of the collection is shaded think for a while you've got it right here the group is divided into 9 equal parts and of them 5 parts are shaded therefore the fraction is written as 5 by 9 example 2 shade the 2/5th part of the figure below in this example we have to shade 2/5th part in the fraction 2 by 5 the denominator is 5 it represents that the given thing should be divided into 5 equal parts similarly in this fraction the numerator is 2 it represents that the two portions should be shaded you can see that this whole figure is divided into 5 equal parts therefore to represent 2 by 5 we have to shade any two parts of these five parts this could be done in several ways in each possibility 2/5th portion is shaded example 3 deepu has bought 5 oranges 3 pomegranates and 2 apples out of the total number of fruits find the fraction of oranges deepu has bought 5 oranges 3 pomegranates and 2 apples here the total number of fruits are 5 plus 3 plus 2 that is 10 of these 10 fruits 5 are oranges therefore the denominator is 10 and the numerator is 5 by doing so the fraction we get is 5 by 10 today we have learned some examples of fractions in the next video we will see some misconceptions related to it